This video is going to show you two tips that might help you when you're looking at a really beautiful background of something and you really just want to look at the text. So here I have this article from the New York Times. It's in the new style with images in the background and scrolling text. I just want to read the text, so what I'm going to do is use Chrome Reading Mode. So to do that, I'm going to right click and go to Open in Reading Mode. Alternatively, I could go to the three dots and More Tools in Reading Mode, and that's going to bring up a sidebar. Now, the sidebar doesn't have to just be on the side. I can expand it using this little grabber bar in the center. And if this text is too small or if the font doesn't work for me, I can change the font. I can boost the text size. I can even say I don't want to have these hyperlinks in the article. And I can say I want to have less glare in the background or want to go into dark mode. You can also explore the formatting of the text. And this makes it a little bit easier to focus depending on, on your reading needs. So that's one method. And again, this is in Chrome reading mode. And I know you probably are thinking, but what if I want to print this for my students? Well, this reading mode isn't going to let you print. So here's the suggestion that I have. We have this lovely tool that we've been using for a while called Print Friendly in PDF. It's a Chrome extension that looks like this little green icon with a printer on it. When I click it, it will give me the article and notice I could go in and like mouse over an image if I don't want to have it and click delete or I could go up to this icon right here and say I want the images to be small or non-existent. I could also say I want the text to be larger or smaller. This doesn't let you change the font but it does give you more options for printing. And when I am ready to print, oh, by the way, you can actually, I forgot to mention this part, you can actually say, I want to take out certain parts. So say you just want your students to focus on one area and you don't want to include, say, this chunk of text. You just click on it and it will get rid of that paragraph. Do you see how that works? And if you want to undo whatever you changed, you can undo it here. And now we should have our text back. Then when you're ready to print, you have some options. You can email the text, you can export it as a PDF, or you can click print, and then choose whichever printer you want to print it to. And it's as easy as that, all those images are gone, you have whatever format formatting you added, and you're good to go. Let me know if you have any questions, and I will link the print-friendly PDF um, extension address to this video. Enjoy!